Hundreds of extra police officers have been drafted from around the UK to help clear climate change protesters from parts of central London. Since the demonstrations began on Monday, more than 750 people have been arrested. Journalist Katie Silver has been following the protests. On Monday, Extension Rebellion took basically leadership of Oxford Circus. And that's the equivalent of, I guess, kind of Sydney's George Street, a major thoroughfare, a major intersection. They took uh, they took residents there. They took residents uh, on Waterloo Bridge and Parliament Square, three big areas in London. And what Extinction Rebellion is about is they're trying to, according to them, they have three major demands. That is to, for, to asking the government basically to what they say is to tell the truth when it comes to climate change. They're also hopeful for zero emissions by 2025. And um, the other one is that they want to basically have a people's assembly when it comes to basically a citizen's assembly that would inform the government. So that's what they are asking for. They're sort of a, a radical environmental group that is, you know, seeking change urgently, Joe, if you speak to them. Uh, that's what they're after. They're wanting basically for the UK government to kind of follow through on their kind of climate change goals. And Katie, police have called in extra reinforcements. What sort of operation has this been for police, given that there have been so many arrests? It's been exhaustive. So um, there's been about 1,500 officers working around the clock every day, about 1,500 officers. They've already called in reinforcement from other areas outside London, and now they've asked for an additional 200. Um, so far, we've seen 750 arrests. And what actually happens, Joe, I've actually witnessed quite a few of them myself, just going in and out of, the, out of work every day. We see them. And what um, people do is they kind of just go floppy. They get carried out by six officers. And we've seen 750 arrests and about um, 30 people being charged. Now, the interesting thing about these arrests is the police themselves say people show an unusual willingness to be arrested and also not um, that they don't basically, they don't resist this arrest. Mm -hmm. And the Extinction Rebellion themselves have said that this is because it's not about, um, they, they see the arrests themselves as a statement and they're trying to make it completely, you know, non-violent, so to speak. It also appears as though these arrests are not deterring the protesters. So does that give an indication that these protests could last for some time? There is an indication of that. So they initially said that they wanted to be in Oxford Circus for two weeks. Now um, they've been moved on from there, but they have moved up basically to an area not about a kilometre away and that they seem like they may stay there. And yes, there's no net sort of sign of this alleviating. Extinction Rebellion says that since they started on Monday, they claim to have had 50,000 additional people sign up to their group. So it's been a, in some ways kind of a PR exercise in terms of building their name and building their brand, so to speak, Joe. And what sort of impact has this had on, um, on business there, given that that is such a business hub, that area? Huge. So, I mean, a lot of the shops we've seen, um, we were talking about this the other day. I mean, yesterday, as of Good Friday, when we were in there, they were, they'd shut off, police had completely shut off, uh, I guess, a four block radius. So none of those businesses could, could do any business. And they were completely, they had been completely open. Um, I also spoke with a woman, for example, who was uh, too scared to get off the tube at Oxford Circus. That would have been her normal commute. So she was doing a different commute because of, I guess, fears around being in that area. So the impact on business has been, I'm sure, very, very great. And the police also say there's been um, a very unfortunate impact when it comes to ambulance travel times. Because this is such a central part of London, so much uh, car passing, cars passing through, um, buses, things like that. So it has definitely, I mean, uh, disrupted commutes, it's disrupted business and it's disrupted, you know, as I say, emergency services. All right, Katie Silver, we'll leave it there. Thanks for the update.